guys, Mrs. Barrow. Today we're going to read one of my favorite books, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. It's written by Patty Lavelle and her friend David Cathro. He's the illustrator. He's the person who drew the pictures, and Patty drew the words. Here we go. I love the title page. Oh, I see really tiny shoes. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be a book about dancing. Don't know. We're going to find out. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Oh my, everyone's looking up to her. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right along with you. So, she did. Aww. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong, and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Aww. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumbled fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself, and the world will believe in you too. So she did. Oh my. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. and start in a new school. So she's going on her first day. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked ten high on her teeth, and smiled. As big as a day, all the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt, you guessed it, very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said she made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. Oh, wow, look how pretty you guys. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin bought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. Aw, he's starting to be nice, you guys. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I want to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. And there's Grandma. And that's the end. Alrighty, I'll meet you guys in just a minute. I want you to get a pencil and paper and we're gonna do an activity. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Barrel. I hope you loved our story today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow our pacing guide from the state of Ohio. And right now, one of the things that it wants us to make sure our teddy bears know how to do is answer questions about 
the text we read. The text we read today was Molly Lou Mellon. I love the story. I hope you enjoyed it. So we're going to ask you a question and we're going to dig a little bit deeper into our text. So if you've got a piece of paper and pencil, I want you to make a really big thinking bubble. And in the middle, I want you to make that question mark. And I'm going to ask you one, two, three, four questions. You don't really need to put the sentence up there, but this is really important. I want you to do that in your paper. If Mrs. Barrow goes faster than you, take your time. At the end of the video, I'll have my son freeze this on here and you can catch up. All right, let's get started. Ready? What did her grandma, Molly Lou, tell her to do? Grandma gave her some really good advice. Do you remember the first thing grandma said? Yep, that's right. Grandma said you need to walk proudly. So we're going to spell the word walk. W-A-L-K. She said walk proudly and the world is going to look up to you. What was the second thing that grandma said? Smile. That's right, smile. So we're going to write the word smile. S-M-I-L-E. Grandma said smile big and the world will smile back at you. So we have walk proudly, smile big, S sing. That's right, sing. We'll put that up here. S-I-N-G. I want you to write sing now. She told her, sing loud and the world will cry tears of joy. So she told her to walk proudly, smile big, sing loudly, and there was something else. Ba, ba, believe. That's right. Good job, guys. Believe. Believe is a big word. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. And we'll leave it on that for you for a minute. Believe in yourself and there is nothing that you cannot accomplish. So I want you guys to take your time and I want you to build our thinking bubble. So one of the things we did today is we read a story and then we went back and thought about the information that we read. Our main character is Molly Lou and this is some of the things that in the text that Grandma told her to do. So I want you to write that down and I'll see you in a little bit for our next activity.